All right, Focus Gradebookers, we're going to take a look at configuring the gradebook. First thing you want to do is enter the gradebook from Grades and clicking on Gradebook on the left-hand side. Once you're in the gradebook, you can see the student and their assignments that have already been input. On the top right, find the settings, which opens up the gradebook configuration. As we explore this section, take a look at some of the options. More important settings under General is the height and active students. As you have students enter and leave your class throughout the year, you will be able to locate the students' records through this selection here. Even if they're no longer present in your class, the records are still safe, as long as you select the Include and Active Students. As you continue through the selections, remember that it's changing your view as well as the student view. So you can select points or letters or both. You can show your full year average, as well as the other options such as student number, gradebook groups if you use the group function, and the averages. If you would like to adjust what is shown for each assignment, such as the due date or the assigned date, you do so here in this category. Be sure to hit apply to save your settings. Now you see that the layout is a little bit different based on your configuration. If you go back into settings, you'll also notice in the middle on the bottom is configuration will alter the assignments as well as the configuration of your gradebook and how the grades are displayed. Like default assignment points, it automatically assigns those points every time you put that assignment in. Link section and copy option to add your assignment to more than one class. Word of caution, if you have a student in more than one class, if you put in a grade for the student in one class, it will copy it to the other. Therefore, we recommend that you use the copy feature. To organize the way your assignments are displayed, use the assignment sorting. You can select to show them by due date, the newest first, and the other options as well. You can also fine tune your gradebook with these separate options down below. On the right hand side of the box you'll see the groups selection. From here you can add groups if you choose to group up your students. Type the name and hit apply. This will save your groups so that when you enter your grades, you can also add them to a specific group if they're working in groups. If you have any questions, reach out to your school's DLTL or Gradebook Manager.